Hello programming students. This video you're going to learn how to create a Gmetrics account so that you can practice and review material for certification exams that we offer here in CMS and possibly other places even after graduation. Some of you may already have a Gmetrics account because you participated in previous certification courses. If that's the case, just go to gmetrics.net and log in as you normally would. But if not, go ahead and follow the rest of the instructions in this video. So start a new browser tab, and the web address is gmetrics.net. That's G-M-E-T-R-I-X.net. And after you hit the Enter key, it will bring you to this screen. Now for us, for those of you that are students in CMS or other uh, organizations that have a Google account assigned to you as a student, the easiest thing to do is to sign in with that Google account. If you do not have a Google account assigned to you by your school system, then you can click this link here and fill out the corresponding information and create an account that way. So for you as a student, go ahead and log in using your Google account. It's going to ask you which account you want to use. Pick your student account. Make sure you pick your student account. Google may ask you to verify that account by uh, logging in to that account using the email address and password. So if that's the case, just go ahead and do that. Once you get logged in, uh, your account is created. You're at the Gmetrics dashboard. But up here in the top right hand corner, we want to go ahead and change some information on the My Account page. So go ahead and click on your name and click My Account. Click the little pencil at the top of the button. So this information will probably be different once you log in. Uh, it will probably start with the state of Alabama. So choose your correct state and then make sure your name is correct. That information is pulled in from the Google account. Your email address will already be populated. But this field, the student ID number, will not be populated. So go ahead and make sure you put your student ID number in that field. Uh, do not put mine, because that won't help you, but put your student ID number in that field. Then once you've got all that information completed, click the little diskette up here in the upper right to save that information. Over here on the left-hand side is the menu for the Gmetrics site. Uh, this is where you can access your dashboard, look at tests that you've saved or completed, look at courses, look at any books that you might have, and redeem any access codes that you need to redeem that your teacher assigned you. All right, so that's how you create a Gmetrics account. And if you ever need to log out, you just click, click over here on the right-hand side on your name and then click Log Out. Thank you very much.